a truckload of profits, or a truckload of issues. Whether you're looking to buy your first dump truck or you'd like to expand your fleet, knowing what to look for when buying a dump truck can make the difference between steady earnings or a truck size headache. In this episode of Buying Bigger Better Academy, we're going to look at a few key features to help you begin your search or to be a more discerning buyer the next time around. Before going any further, remember that there's no need to take any notes as a full written version of this guide is linked in the description of this episode. Start under the hood, dump truck engines. How much horsepower does my dump truck need? When shopping for a dump truck, the key engine specification you'll be looking at is horsepower. Though one would think that more is better, this isn't always the case. Most street legal dump trucks for sale will have engines ranging anywhere from 300 to 600 horsepower. Depending on the terrain you plan to regularly traverse, this will help you decide to buy a dump truck with more or less horsepower. And while there is a fear of buying an underpowered truck, buying too much power can greatly impact your fuel economy. For this reason, when looking for a medium-sized street legal dump truck, many experienced dump truck operators recommend a dump truck engine with around 350 horsepower. This many horses will provide a nice balance of power and fuel economy. Let's pivot to how much weight your dump truck needs to be able to handle by discussing weight and axle hauling requirements. One important rating is the GVWR. What is a dump truck GVWR? A dump truck's GVWR, or gross vehicle weight rating, is the determination of the maximum possible operating weight as determined by the dump truck's manufacturer. The GVWR isn't just how much weight a dump truck can carry, but also includes the weight of the truck, the fuel, and even the operator. Let's talk about your truck's weight distribution. To keep dump trucks from damaging bridges and roadways with excessive loads, federal law closely regulates how much weight can be hauled on how many axles. When excessively heavy loads are taken over public roads, more axles are necessary to distribute said weight to reduce road damage. The more axles a dump truck has, the more weight is allowed to carry on public roads and vice versa. You will want to become familiar with laws regulating load weights and necessary axles for trucks wherever you plan to operate your trucks. Let's quickly discuss a commonly overlooked specification, front axle ratings. It can be easy to neglect front axle weight ratings, but you may end up doing so at your own peril. For instance, if a certain dump truck had been converted from another style of truck, the front axles may not be rated to help distribute dump truck weights, instead being originally intended to tow rather than carry. For this reason, it is recommended to seek out a dump truck with at least a front axle weight rating of at least 20,000 pounds or 9,000 kilograms and a rear weight rating of 46,000 pounds around 20,100 kilograms. Failure to consider front axle weight limitations may result in costly wear and tear over time. What about how this weight is supported? Let's talk mechanical or spring-based versus air ride suspension. The two main types of suspension for dump trucks are mechanical or spring suspension and air ride suspension systems. Air ride suspension allows for a smoother ride for dump truck operators and the preservation of sensitive cargo. While true, air ride suspension is also more susceptible to failure if the airbag components are compromised. Air ride suspension systems also require that operators empty the airbags before dumping truck loads, an act that can slow down dumping. For this reason, many dump truck operators recommend spring-based suspension options for enhanced dependability and simplicity. Let's shift over to how to shift your dump truck, that is, dump truck transmission options. There are three transmission options available for dump trucks, manual transmissions, automatic transmissions, or a combination of the two known as an automated manual transmission. What are some manual transmission pros and cons? Manual transmissions provide the maximum fuel economy and control for experienced dump truck drivers, especially in what is referred to as an 8LL transmission, which is an 8-speed manual transmission with two more deep reduction ratios for reverse or low speeds. While manual transmissions have a list of benefits, they also require a certain level of skill on the part of the driver to operate proficiently. Driving manual transmission dump trucks for longer shifts can also be more taxing on drivers. Still, some drivers swear by their three-pedal trucks due to familiarity and control. How about some automatic transmission pros and cons? 
Even though automatic transmissions for dump trucks may be slightly less fuel efficient and a bit more expensive, both upfront and to maintain, they're much more common these days and the easiest for drivers to operate. This simplified performance, as in no gears or clutch for drivers to engage, allow for less experienced drivers or older drivers to operate their dump trucks more proficiently and with less fatigue. Automatic transmissions are also popular for their smooth power delivery as it runs through the speeds with minimal let up, meaning minimal jostling of loads as the truck shifts. These days, most automatic transmissions in dump trucks have also replaced clutches with torque converters for enhanced gear synchronization. And automatic manual transmission pros and cons? Marketed as the best of both worlds between manual and automatic transmissions, automated manual transmissions are also expressed as the worst of both worlds by some dump truck drivers. Instead of manually pressing a clutch and shifting gears, electronic sensors communicate with a computer to perform such actions when appropriate. Though they contain similar components to a manual transmission, automated manual transmissions lack certain manual transmission driver functionality, such as the ability to feather the clutch and other such granular controls. Also, because they're computer controlled and therefore shift much faster than the average human shifter, automated manual transmission clutches are slightly more prone to overheating. So, what is the difference between an automatic transmission and an automated manual transmission? Though the terms are similar, there are few mechanical similarities between an automatic transmission and an automated manual transmission. The simplified expression of the difference is that an automated manual transmission functions mechanically just like a manual transmission, only that a computer has taken over the function of engaging the clutch and shifting gears instead of a human driver, as though someone installed a robot to manually shift the truck. An automatic transmission, on the other hand, was mechanically designed to automatically engage the most appropriate gear, utilizing torque converters instead of a clutch. Automated manual transmissions tend to shift faster than automatic transmissions, but this faster computer-engaged clutch activation and gear shifting can put additional wear on the mechanical components. Transmissions covered, let's look in the back. Specifically, selecting a dump truck body type. The types of materials carried in your dump truck will largely determine what truck body types, also known as boxes by some, will serve you best. Aluminum body types are significantly lighter than resilient steel body types and will be more fuel efficient, but they are really only appropriate for hauling more malleable, lighter materials such as filled dirt, sand, and the like. Steel bodies are a better option for the ability to haul the heaviest, hardest loads that would otherwise damage or overload aluminum body or box styles. How about dump truck box size? Street legal dump trucks come in a variety of box sizes, with anywhere from 10 to 23 cubic yard boxes. And unless you're absolutely sure of the size of the loads you will need your truck to transport on a regular basis, many drivers suggest a medium sized box, somewhere between 18 to 20 cubic yard box or body. The logic in selecting a medium sized dump truck box is that most companies charge clients by the time transporting and dumping loads, not the volume of the materials in the box. Rarely will a dump truck with a medium sized box be inadequate for a certain load. More often than not, an oversized dump truck will be inefficient for smaller loads, burning up an undue amount of fuel and being trickier to maneuver when a smaller or medium truck could have handled such a load just as well. Thus, a medium sized dump truck fits in the sweet spot of efficient yet capable and manageable. Here are other useful dump truck components to consider, such as in cab controls. Many dump trucks are outfitted with various updated controls that take what were once exterior controls to the inside of the cab. For the convenience of the driver, it is preferred to have a dump truck with a tailgate release and automatic tarp system, both of which can be operated from within the driver's cab, requiring the driver to hop out and either manually release the tailgate or roll the cargo tarp back can result in operator fatigue over long shifts. Also, tarp style. In addition to having an automatic tarp, if you will be carrying various materials, many dump truck operators recommend utilizing an asphalt tarp for the majority of the loads. The reason here for this is that while an asphalt tarp can be used for a variety of load materials, other tarp styles, such as a sand tarp, may not be appropriate for hauling hot asphalt. Well, what happens when you get stuck? Well, for that reason, let's talk spreader bars and pull hooks. There will likely come a time when a dump truck gets stuck. Many operators say such is just a part of the job. However, there are components that make getting unstuck easier and without damaging the truck. One suggestion is to have a thicker spreader bar, the bar where the truck's load comes off the back. 
A thicker spreader bar will allow heavy equipment to push the truck without the risk of damaging the truck body or other components. Another recommendation is to have adequate pull hooks for the front and rear of your dump truck. Pull hooks make it easier for other vehicles or equipment to pull your dump truck out from wherever it is stuck without damaging it, which could happen by pulling on a bumper or something else not designed to withstand the force of pulling a truck free from a muddy road or ditch. So what styles of dump truck exist? Depending on your industry, terrain, and application, there are a variety of dump truck styles to choose from. Here are a handful of dump truck styles with brief descriptions. Standard dump trucks. A standard dump truck is likely what you envision when you think of a dump truck. A large street legal truck with a large dump body, also known as a box, that sits above permanently attached rear axles. These dump trucks can raise and lower their dump box using hydraulics to dump out the contents in a designated area through a tailgate. Semi-trailer bottom dump trucks. Instead of dumping out of the back of the truck, semi-trailer bottom dump trucks, also known as belly dump trucks, utilize a three axle semi-truck combined with a two axle trailer equipped with a bottom mounted dump gate known as a clamshell gate. These dump trucks are especially useful for dumping materials in a spreading motion in a line, such as within a windrow agricultural setting. Side dump trucks. Just like it sounds, side dump trucks or SDTs are actually semi-trucks towing two axle trailers with hydraulic lifts that tilt the entire box off to the side, right or left, rather than off the back or directly below. These dump trucks are especially good at fast dumping as they essentially have a dump gate the length of the trailer. Roll-off dump trucks. Roll-off dump trucks are designed to carry removable cargo containers, such as dumpsters, storage containers, and the like. They are able to roll off of the containers by carefully tilting the containers with hydraulic components and a cable winch system. Roll-off dump trucks are great for being able to leave empty containers at various sites, allowing the containers to be filled while the truck is utilized elsewhere, and then the containers are picked up at a later time. Off-highway dump trucks. Unlike street legal dump trucks used for hauling everything from demolition debris, rocks, sand, and asphalt, off-highway dump trucks, also known as haul trucks, are the massive all-terrain dump trucks used for mining, quarry work, or heavier earth-moving jobs. Articulated hauler trucks. Somewhat like the off-highway haul trucks, articulated hauler trucks are all-wheel drive oversized dump trucks with an articulated hauling trailer. Articulated haulers are especially good for removing loads from areas with difficult terrain. Winter service trucks. Dump trucks are frequently utilized by municipalities for winter road treatment, such as plowing or as salt spreader trucks. These dump trucks are outfitted with snow plows and ice melt hoppers that evenly distribute a variety of materials to melt ice and provide traction across slick surfaces. So, should I buy a new or used dump truck for sale? Even if you have narrowed down precisely which components you would like in your next dump truck you'd like to purchase, deciding whether to buy a new or a used dump truck largely depends on two factors, your budget and your need for customization. Firstly, your dump truck budget. How much does a dump truck cost? The cost of a dump truck largely depends on the age, condition, and current market conditions. While you may be able to pick up a well-used dump truck for as low as $8,000, you can also pick up a new dump truck with a warranty for $180,000. Your budget won't only depend on what kind of financing you are able to procure, but also how much you plan to budget for maintenance, repairs, and downtime for such. Anytime a dump truck is not working, it goes from making money to costing money. For this reason, some dump truck owners opt to pay higher prices for newer, more reliable dump truck models with warranties in order to avoid costly repairs and downtime. What about dump truck customization? If you plan to use your dump truck for very specialized work, you will need a specialized truck. Used models with highly specialized functionality are available, though they can be trickier to locate. For this reason, many dump truck owners with highly specific needs may opt for new dump trucks, which can be modified and customized much easier and reliably as such parts and components are readily available from the manufacturer or existing third-party outfitters. Find your next dump truck today. By now, you likely have a good understanding of what kind of dump truck will best suit your needs to help you locate the right dump truck for sale for the right price. My Little Salesman is here to help. You are invited to look through our selection of over a thousand dump trucks for sale to find the next addition to your fleet. To start your search today, head over to mylittlesalesman.com. That's going to do it for this episode of Buying Bigger, Better Academy. Did you learn something new to explore? If so, 
think about giving this video a like to tell the algorithm to send more videos like it your way and to tell them that we're educating the masses. Make sure to let us know what you learned in the comments section as well as any points we missed. Also, never miss another educational buyer's guide by subscribing to the My Little Salesman YouTube channel. That's it. I've been Ken, and we'll see you next time.